Gyrolex. Okay, so uh, this problem is quite challenging. Okay, so the two vertical conical tanks uh, have their vertices connected by a short horizontal pipe. So let's refer to this uh, given figure. So this is the horizontal pipe. One tank initially full of water has an altitude of uh, 6 feet and a base or the diameter of the base is 7 feet. So this is initially full and uh, water is allowed to flow through this pipe. And the other tank uh, which is empty initially has an altitude of uh, 9 feet to so this one and a diameter of uh, 8 feet. Okay, so find the level to which uh, the water will ultimately rise in an empty tank. So this is initially full, the first tank. So water will flow through the connecting pipe. Of course, it will rise uh, to a certain uh, level. So it will stop if the height of the water from the first tank is the same with the uh, second tank. So that is the principle of communicating vessels. So to calculate this problem, uh, let's focus first on the first tank. So let's call that tank 1. And uh, we'll be using uh, the concept of uh, similar triangles for this one. So this tank has an altitude of 6 feet and uh, this one is the water, level of water, right? the final state of the tank. So it has a height of H, which is currently unknown. Uh, that is what we are going to solve. And for similar triangles, the corresponding sides are proportional. So the corresponding side is this two, the 6 feet and H. And this is also equal to the uh, corresponding side, which is for the first triangle, which has a 3.5 feet, that is the radius. And for the final state of the water, which has a radius of uh, currently unknown. So let's call it R sub 1. So 6 over h is equivalent to uh, that corresponding side, 3.5 over r sub 1. Okay, so let's uh, cross multiply. Uh, 6 r1 equals h or 3.5 h. Okay, so let's uh, equate this in terms of h. So divide uh, both sides by 3.5. So we have h equals 6 r1 over uh, 3.5. Okay, so 6 divided by 3.5, uh, that is 12 over 7 R1. Okay, so take note of this first uh, equation. So H is 12 over 7 in terms of R1. Next is the second tank. So the same concept, the similar triangles. So this tank has a height of 9 feet. And this is the final state of the water, which is also H. Take note, they are the same level with the tank 1. And this is also equal to this uh, 4 feet diameter and the final state of the water. Currently, we don't know the diameter. So let's label this as R sub 2. So these corresponding sides are equal. Okay, so cross multiply 9 R sub 2 is equal to uh, 4 H. So in terms of H, uh, divide both sides by uh, 4. So we have 9 R2 over uh, 4. So take note of this uh, second equation we got from this uh, tank 2. So H is equivalent to 9 over 4 R2. Okay, so these are the values we derived for the height in terms of R1 and uh, R2. And we can equate uh, these values since they are both uh, equal to H. So meaning they are equal. So we have uh, 12 over 7 R1 is equivalent to 9 over 4 R2. So cross multiply, so we have R1 is, so this one 7 times 9, okay, the numerator and denominator is 12 times 4, okay, R2. And we can uh, simplify this further, so R1 is 21 over 16 uh, R2, okay. So initially this uh, first tank is full of water as stated in the problem and we can calculate for the volume of this tank. So using this equation for the volume of the cone, uh, which is one third by r squared times height. Okay, so let's uh, plug in the values. We have the volume of the first tank, so initially full. That is one third of uh, 3.5, which is the radius. 3.5 squared times height, which is 6. And the volume is 49 pi over 2 cubic feet. 
So this volume is allowed to flow through this connecting pipe. And this is the final state of uh, the two tanks, uh, which has the same height. Which means the initial volume, okay, or the full volume of the first tank is uh, distributed to the first tank. Let's say this is the final state, volume 1, plus the uh, volume 2 of the second tank, okay? So, this volume 1 and 2 is also the initial volume of the uh, first tank. Okay, so you can calculate now for the volume of uh, tank 1. So, 1 third pi, of course, R1, that is the radius of the uh, water or the final state of the water for the first tank, plus uh, 1 third pi, so R2, so the radius of the final state of the water in the second tank. So, common is uh, 1 third pi in H, so we can uh, factor this out. So, volume of water is uh, 1 third pi h times r1 squared plus r2 squared. So, we have this value derived uh, earlier. r1 is uh, equivalent also to 21 over 16 r2. So, we can use this to the equation. So, let's substitute this value to this r1. So, we have 1 third pi h times 21 over 16 r2 squared plus r2 squared. So, simplify this uh, term. So, 21 over 16 squared plus 1. Uh, that will give us uh, 1 third pi h times uh, 2.72 r2 squared. Okay, so this term is uh, simplified to this term. Okay. So, that is, uh, anyway, that is algebra. So, I hope you can calculate for this one. Okay, so let's use the value, full volume of water, substitute uh, to this variable. So we have 49 pi over 2 is equivalent to uh, 1 third pi h, okay, so times 2.72 r, r2 squared. So cancel out the pi, since common to both uh, sides. Uh, then uh, cross multiply 3 to, uh, to this side. So we have 3 times 49 over 2 is h. So, times 2.72 R2 squared. Okay, so we have 73.5 for the left side. And let's organize the right side. We have uh, 2.72 H uh, R2 squared. So, let's equate in terms of R2. So, R2 squared is divided by both sides by uh, 2.72 H. So, divided by 2.72 H. So, we have 73.5 divided by 2.72 H. Okay, so we will be calculating for the value of H. So, we have a uh, equation, value of R2 in terms of H. So, let's use this one. So, we can cross multiply uh, this uh, 4 and 9. So, this equation is also equivalent to this one. So, R2 is 4H over 9. And we are going to substitute uh, this value to R2. So, we have now uh, 4H over 9 squared is equivalent to uh, this right side uh, which is 73.5 over 2.72 h so let's square this term we have 16 h squared okay so 4 squared is 16 9 squared is 81 okay uh, cross multiply so we have 43.5 of course uh, h squared times h is h cubed so cross multiply we have uh, 5,953 point 5. So, divide both sides by 43.5. So, remaining to the left side is h cubed. So, let's simplify the right side uh, term. So, we have the 5,953.5 divided by 43.5 is 136.86. So, transfer the cube to the right side. So, the cube root of 136.86. That is your uh, height. And that is equivalent to uh, 5.15 feet. So this is the final uh, answer. Okay, so quite challenging problem. Uh, but the solution uh, only requires the concept for uh, similar triangles and a lot of uh, algebra steps. Okay, so see you on the next uh, exercise.